And welcome back for another battle! Hello everyone! We're gonna go for the Korean pros once more and focus on a match that I think it's taken from some in-house practice matches from this team. It's from a fairly recent Korean team and it involves two players that I'm curious about. One of them more than the other, to be honest. I think I'm gonna try to make a short presentation of him. You're gonna have spawning here on Shakura's plateau on this top left corner, it's Dream MVP, he's one of the members of Team MVP, as you guys know he's one of the most recent teams in Korea, they already uh, stacked up a nice uh, composition, a nice group of players, they have like Genius there, they have Keen, some pretty decent players, we might be hearing more of them in the future, and they did quite well now on the Team League, the previous GSTL, they actually were able to climb their way up to fame and glory, they didn't took the final victory, but I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone anyway, you guys can check it for yourselves. And uh, well, he's one of the Terran players from Team MVP, let it mention that this guy, last time I checked on the SC2 rankings, is top 100 on Korea, Grandmasters player, so a solid Terran player here, and he's gonna be facing against another teammate of his, and it is the player that I want to present. That Korean name, translated to English, means Dong Rai Gu. I hope I'm uh, uh, saying it right. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, feel free to it. And Dong Rai Gu is the blue Zerg here spawning on the bottom right corner of uh, uh, Shakura's Plateau. And uh, well, I wanted to make a short presentation of this guy, because for the ones that don't recognize that name, he was a number one in Korea for quite a long time on the ladder and uh, also he was one of the first players to reach 4000 points before this uh, previous reset. And uh, well, that's a sign that he's very solid and now Team MVP finally grabbed them. He played on the GSTL uh, like a couple of weeks ago, did very well, he almost did an all kill against Team OGS, including defeating OGS MC if, and OGS Supernova as well, if I'm not mistaken. So a sign the guy is solid, he's a very good Zerg player and he has quite a nice reputation in Korea. From what I noticed, people recognize his name, people know that he's probably one of the new blood Zergs showing up in Korea and I think they're having high hopes for them like maybe one day having him playing at the same level as Nesty or July Zerg. Um, guess we're gonna have to wait and see. For now let me be honest with you I would like to compare him more with Lozira because Lozira is the next star on the rise and he already attained uh, a kind of reputation he's quite a good Zerg so I would like to see more of Dong Rai Gu and hopefully have him battling against Lozira anytime soon would be interesting. For now following the game because I'm already blabbering by way too long. As you can see it was a uh, two racks opening here with his racks getting landed there on the bottom spot and we have Dream MVP entering engaging a very aggressive mode pulling with a lot of SCVs and three marines is gonna try to enter his opponent's base because Dong Raigu took the chance to go for fast expand he doesn't have much of a defense he's getting the first zerglings out and we have MVP placing a bunker in range to destroy his hatchery Dong Raigu is answering back with a spine crawler still not finished but he is trying to defend there's not much of a defense for now he's basically pulling all of his workers to get this aggression contained but meanwhile the, the um, bunker is getting finished and this might spell trouble for him obviously I mean it won't be easy to uh, defend after that bunker is finally finished. There it is getting instantly loaded with marines and now starting to shoot down at this uh, spine crawler. The spine crawler needs to go out of range and he needs to defend Dong Raigu pulling ahead. Here he comes trying to put down this uh, bunker from Dream MVP but this doesn't look easy. The SCVs are trying to repair it a bit and a nice round by Dong Raigu trying to finish off the forces from Dream MVP and thwart this very very powerful aggression destroying the bunker and apparently finishing off this early aggression by a dream very well defended by Dong Rai Gu able to withstand the pressure and following dream to pull back but uh, as you guys can see we had dream committing himself to a fairly solid um, Terran playing one base play and he just was pumping out as many marines as possible actually he's still going for a lot of marines still he's getting some workers squeezed in in the middle and there's not much else on the inside his base as you guys can see I'm wondering if he's gonna mess up another small group and advance because yeah apparently that's gonna be the case and meanwhile we have Dong Rai Gu forces trying to come out of his bases and finish off that SCV now confronted with that big mass of marines and boy he's gonna be in trouble we have plenty of marines here how's Dong Rai Gu's defenses for now a 
single spine crawler, there goes the second one down, there's not much else inside his main base, he's been sacrificing so much to be able to withstand this amount of pressure, and he's gonna just try to get defended once more, incoming the marines trying to shoot down that um, spine crawler, once again Dong Raigu forced to pull all of his workers out of the mineral line, with a lot of marines trying to poke at them and killing as many as possible. Let's take a look at the worker count, it's actually quite balanced, 18 against 17 for now, so not much of a hassle and a worry, but as you can see on the income, we have a bit of an advantage for Dream MVP, and while he was pushing here on this second attempt, this second wave of aggression, he was on the back getting his command center done, so expanding and preparing his two base play. Gas finally picked up, everything rolling here inside Dream's MVP base, his pressure didn't pay off as much as he expected, obviously committed a lot of resources and also had to sacrifice some workers on his mineral line to get this amount of marines, and now that the attack was thwarted, he's gonna have to transition into some kind of macro mode and get out of this big aggression that he was attempting for the last 8 minutes or so. On Daong Raigu's side, as you can see he has two spine crawlers, there was a third one getting built there but he cancelled it, I'm pretty sure he just considered it to be overkill, he didn't need it that many defenses and the workers would be welcome. And inside his main base there's not much going on, he's finally stabilizing his game apparently, and uh, enough of the aggression from Dream might allow him to start droning up and get some nice mineral lines so he can reinforce his, um, his build, his sim city as much as possible before Dream decides to assault him once more. Three Zerglings just going back and forth here, basically being used for scouting purposes. He spotted a long time ago these three racks obviously, so plenty of bio coming out here on Dream's side, and now finally mixing it up with the factory and the starport. You already have the tech lab there, meaning that we might be seeing a switch later on, I'm not sure. He might just be going for siege tanks and get the siege tech rolling as well. There's the steam pack getting finished for his bio ball, and the, what else on his side is his main base. Well, main base is actually more calm than the entrance to the natural expo in this area. A lot of busy busy bees here on this, um, on this area do the natural expo from Dream. On Dong Ragu's side, he's now picking up all the gas, as you can see, just grab the four gas at the same time. and. I think that he's now feeling safe and thinking, okay, he's just stabilized, he, so he noticed that his aggression wasn't enough to put me down on the early stages of the game and he's gonna transition into some kind of macro game so you can have a proper army for the mid and late game. Apparently Dong Raigu is right, we do have gas getting picked up here, also we are gonna have the first siege tanks coming out, siege tech already getting ready as well, and some medivacs getting popped. I'm not sure if Dong Raigu is gonna prepare any kind of uh, timed push, he might be considering something like that based on that steam pack uh, timing. For now we have a medivac getting loaded with marines and seems like he's gonna try to pass here all the way to the south, he's making a diagonal and try to probably make a drop into his opponent's main base. But oh, those three zerglings spotted the drop, there it is, trying to scare away those zerglings from the Zelnaga watchtower. But now the movement is well, got detected and we already have Dong Raigu answering with a lot of queens, he has four queens here and some zerglings getting ready as well while the medivac arrives and instantly gets thwarted, gets shoved away by four queens, almost lost it, whoa, 22 HP, really really dangerous there for a, a dream, he almost lost a medivac loaded with marines, and on Dog Raigu's side now getting the Banelings Nest, inside his base we already have the lair tech, so preparing himself for the second layer of tech and getting a macro hatch into his main base. So plenty of production and seems like for now he's pleased with his two base play, though I think he's gonna have to expand for his third base soon enough. 12 minute mark, might be time for it, especially because the Terran player is playing out of two bases for a long time as well. Income as you can see, fairly balanced, I mean Dong Raigu is leading a bit of the charge there because of the difference on the worker count, though every time that Dream drops his mules, things will be a bit more balanced. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a, a time for um, Dong Raigu to consider expanding for his third, which he is exactly doing, while another drop and a lot of harass ensuing here on this backwater, this back corner of the main base from Dong Raigu with marines dropping and starting to shoot down the mineral line, at the same time providing vision for the siege tanks to blast away that extractor there on the Vespin geyser. Now finishing off the mineral line here on the main base, we have Dream MVP with these marines trying to harass as much as possible. Notice the difference now on the income after this harass, he lost plenty of workers and had to interrupt. He's, um, he's working here on the main base, on the mineral line on the main base, basically because every time 
any workers reach this area, gets, they get blasted away by the siege tank. While we have this small batch of marines advancing and trying to finish off the forces here for Dor Dong Rai Gu, but no, the queen's playing brilliantly, well defended and just putting down all of these marines, but now in range of those siege tanks, this is getting really dangerous. Marines gonna get finished off by the Zerglings, I would say. And finally, there's no more units here on this top area from uh, um, the main base of Dong Rai Gu, and there's no more range for the units here from Dream MVP. Notice that he was advancing as well with some more marines into the, the main access to the natural expo, and at the same time, he's preparing a drop here on the north side. Loads of marines still didn't decide to go and start harassing this third base that doesn't have any defenses whatsoever but um, he has this small group here that will be forcing Dong Rai Gu to keep paying attention to what's going on there and at the same time he has a hidden spire on this corner so incoming the mutalisks they're going to try to start harassing the mineral lines, probably force uh, uh, Dream to pull back and defend against this air harass. There's a lot of buildings ensuing at the moment. As you can see on the production tab, I do saw an armory there, so might be going for some Thor play a bit later. Probably has a counter to this Mutalisk play. Let's take a look at his base. There it is already, Engineering Bay taking care of the upgrades, more factories, and there it is, the armory. So we might be seeing some Thors like I was mentioning. Also a, a third command center getting ready so I think he's going to prepare himself to advance and grab a third. It's a good option, probably the best option he has at the moment. Uh, Dong Rai Gu still flying around. Keep in mind that this Mutalisk will provide a nice map control as long as Dong Rai Gu keeps microing them and flying back and forth in the map keeping tabs on all the movements and I think he's gonna spot those units there. Yeah he did, he spotted the units here from Dream MVP and I think we're gonna have a small battle here. There it is, the Marines going down slowly, getting poked by those Mutalists. The Mutalist Queen just finishing off the bio and now trying to finish off the Siege Tanks while at the same time we have a big assault into the third of Dong Rai Gu as you guys could follow on the picture in picture. Now on the main screen with the Queen trying to finish off the aggression backed up by some Zerglings but there's still plenty of Marines left and now they're gonna drop down and kill that Mutalist. Nice micro by Dream, brilliant play there, just on the last second grabbing all his units and avoiding that the Zerglings would get the proper surround on them. Now with the Marines getting cornered there on this third base from Dong Rai Gu, and they're gonna get finished off. There it is, with that, um, that Medivac getting fin finished off by the Mutalist Queen. Inside the bases from Dong Rai Gu, let's take a look. You guys already seen the hidden Spire there. He doesn't have much else, He's just, he, he got a lot of production because he has a second uh, um, hatchery, a macro hatchery inside his main base and he's basically massing up a lot of units here in the, uh, this place close to the middle of the map and the Zalnaga Towers while he tries to contain the advancements from Dream MVP and get some map control with that Mutalist Queen. But um, Dream MVP is not convinced, he's gonna move ahead, grab his third here on this position kind of a difficult position to defend, he's quite wide open. Also keep in mind that on this version of the, of the map you have the rocks on the back that can be destroyed and you can harass entering that area. But we do have this big Mutalist Queen trying to poke at those mineral lines, a Thor defending it and at the same time Dream landing his command center on his third and is going to start mining out of this area. There's a big difference there on the income as you can see. 2000, 2100 against like 1500, also the worker count is a brutal gap there. And by this time, we have Dong Rai Gu playing out of four bases against the three bases from Dream MVP. And Dream MVP basically is just slowly falling back, falling behind, and getting delayed here. While we see him preparing another push, he's gonna advance with a big bulk of Marines. While we have all of those Mutalists trying to shoot down as much of this worker force here as possible. And now transitioning straight into that main base. Oh, but there's some nice air defenses on the main base. The Thor helping out, blasting away this Mutalisk uh, wave that was trying to advance there. And we have the forces from Dream MVP just killing as many creep tumors on this middle area as possible and try to make this creep recede. Still a fresh new one here, so I guess he needs to work a bit more on that. Forces from Dong Rai Gu pulling back in his main base, still no signs of the hive tech but he does have the infestation pit and getting the pathogen glands ready while the forces from both sides pass each other here in the middle of the map try to advance into this north side and I think you're gonna have some sort of trade-off here the forces from Dong Rai Gu advancing into the main base from, um, from a Dream MVP here they go straight ahead into that main base they didn't even stop to destroy anything on the natural expo just taking advantage of the fact that, that the gate was open and now we have a million 
I'm sorry, a, min, a million Zerglings and a million Mutalists advancing. While you can follow here on the picture and in picture screen, the big assault that Dream MVP is trying to make as well into the bases of Dongrai Gu. So basically we're now on a trade-off situation with those Mutalists trying to focus fire this floor, but not possible with the SCVs repairing it and all of them getting lost while they focus fire on the, uh, the production facilities inside the main base from Dream MVP. All of those Mutalists got destroyed by this Thor with 9 kills and the bulk of the forces from Dream MVP are just flying back and forth inside this main base destroying the production facilities while we have uh, um, Dream MVP destroying the third base from Dong Rai Gu but there's still so many Zerglings inside this main base killing all of the production let's take a look at the Harvester count look at the massive difference there's a lot of little Zerglings roaming around flying uh, uh, here well, not flying, but uh, kind of skidding and sliding into this base. Zerglings with Zergling speed and our Thor showing up to finish off the aggression. But uh, at what cost? Look at the difference on the income. Also, you was able to assault this base, but it didn't destroy the hatchery. The force is still working as well. So I would say that the one that took more, most benefits from this trade-off was Dong Rai Gu. He's now grabbing his fifth here as well. Hatchery on this base here. Once again, this base is a bit hard to defend, but uh, I think that Dong Rai Gu is at the moment on a much better position than his opponent. Notice that he's getting his Greater Spire ready, so we might be seeing some Broodlords coming out soon enough. Is he getting any kind of Corruptors for now? Let's take a look at the armies. 90 against 132, a big difference there. And on the unit composition, 11 Mutas, 5 Queens, 19 Zerglings. Not much of an army against 28 Marines, 3 Thors, 7 Medivacs. So, um, army-wise, we have some pretty solid armies here. Not the biggest ever, but I think we're on a, a, a phase where the players are just gathering up again, reinforcing their armies. And we have a big supply difference, 101 against 141. And still... I guess that, um, oh, there goes another Medivac, but um, like I was mentioning, still, I think that um, Dong Rai Gu needs to consider his options and start pushing because he has a big advantage at the moment and he could probably crush his opponent if he decided to make a push anytime soon. We have a Dream MVP advancing here to the north side once more. I think he's going to try to load the units into the Medivacs and advance. We have one single unit trying to just test what's going on here in the middle. There's static defenses on this middle area. There's more units units incoming here from Dream MVP and uh, apparently is going to be preparing himself to lift some of these units up and start finishing off this fourth base which is working just fine with the, a big mineral line there getting pumped out and I guess that Dreams needs to finish that off before it's way too late. On the economy the gap is so so brutal that I don't see how Dream is going to be able to recover from this unless uh, Dong Rai Gu just decides to slip and uh, doesn't pay attention but I don't think that will be the case. Nice aggression here with some bailings. Now we have the forces, all of these marines trying to advance and sly snipe this hatchery. He already attempted this in the past and now boom, there goes the hatchery. Finished off, so third base from Dong Rai Go destroyed there. And now he's going to have to pull back with all of his units. Um, I don't think that uh, this is going to be enough damage to put Dong Rai Gu down for much longer. As you might imagine, uh, he's playing out of five bases, so his economy will hurt a little bit there by losing that base. But um, it's not like impossible for Dong Rai Gu to recover from that hit. Actually, it's Dream MVP that is struggling so much and is stuck on three bases for so, so long now. We have the Mutalist Queen advancing once more. There's a lot of upgrades incoming. As you can see, the Flyer Carapace and uh, also the flyer attack meaning that we might be seeing some corruptors for now and afterwards probably some some uh, uh, brood lords and again another assault here on the mineral line this time with a lot of mutas they'll be able to put out any kind of air defense really really fast as long as Dong Rai Gu focus on it. Probably for those Thors, Magic Box would be the best way to go. But seems like he doesn't want to go that way. He's just pulling back, making sure that his opponent won't be able to raise his Harvester count. Keep in mind that the Dream MVP is around 30 for a long, long time now. He keeps getting poked by the Mutalisk Wing. And at the same time, we have a big blue blob getting masked up here on this area, close to the... 
to the ramp that gives access to the natural exo from Dong Raigu and seems like he's gonna advance now. Hive tech there, we already have more corruptors coming out. He's actually stacking a lot of corruptors on this corner. I wonder when is he gonna go for Broodlords or if he just decides to, to use the corruptors in another different way. Plenty of infestors loaded with energy as well as you guys could see. One of them has 151 energy and now just finishing off that SCV and uh, well I'm not sure what to say because Dong Raigu at the moment is just taking the whole map controlling the map brilliantly and not allowing a dream MVP to expand to what is supposed to be his fourth base. Meanwhile, this mineral line is completely drained, this one is almost drained and this one is basically the single healthy mineral line that dream MVP has at the moment. He needs to come out, he needs to do something about that or soon enough he won't be having anything to defend anymore because Dong Raigu is just macroing like a beach, beast as you can see he's already on 200-200 his supply is maxed out and once again he's gonna try to assault here the main base from a, a Dream MVP this time the defenses were ready there was a Thor and some Marines hanging here just making sure that uh, his opponent won't be able to enter and start destroying the production facility facilities there's not much of a mineral line here anymore as you guys can see and we have Dong Raigu's forces getting ready to advance look at the amount of zerglings there 86 zerglings and incoming all of the forces from Dong Raigu nice surround around all of that mech force killing those bo those bio forces those marines so so quickly and just chewing through all of the bio so fast getting all of those mech forces destroyed as well still one force survived and some siege tanks on the back but I think that this was just the first warning the warning shot because I would say that um, Dong Raigu is getting ready to advance once more here we coming a lot of broodlords getting ready to advance at the same time dream mvp trying to grab his fourth finally quite quite late in my modest opinion and uh, now he needs to get all of his mules and pump out his economy he needs to reinforce his army he's still falling way way behind and at the same time we have again dong raigu stacking up his units once more and get, getting ready to advance into dream mvp's army and boy we're gonna have a lot of broodlords here this is gonna be mad see broodlords are just gonna wreak havoc into the forces from dream mvp i would say he's slowly st step by step advancing here in the middle of the map preparing himself to start poking poking with those broodlings into the units of dream mvp leaving his ground army a bit on the back interesting positioning here and now taking advantage of the creep on this area trying to start killing some of that bio force notice that there's not even much damage being done to the broodlords the bars don't go down there's only two of them getting hit the big bulk of the the uh, ground forces from Dong Raigu are still hanging on the back and here he comes now pushing with all the banelings and zerlings nice around on the forces from Dream MVP and backed up by the broodlings coming out of the broodlords he had to GG Dream MVP just couldn't resist this massive zerg force and just GG he had to I mean there was no chance at all as you can see you even had Dong Raigu stacking banking a lot of minerals and gas so even if he lost his army he would be able to just replenish it instantly while we had dream mvp struggling a bit on his economy he was falling behind on the harvester count for so so long as well and this massive army just crushed him completely with some big macro beast zerg play style here for us all to witness from dong raigu okay so um Game done. What can I say? Dong Raigu impressed me on this game. was a pretty cool one. Uh, obviously, this being a practice match, I'm pretty sure he just chose this one to release it because he knew it was a cool one, one where he could show his skills. I'm pretty sure he also took a lot of defeats as well. Uh, but still, it's a guy to keep an eye on, okay? Keep an eye out for him because um, he did quite well on the team league, like I mentioned um, when I started casting this game. And uh, at the same time, he's doing fairly well on the ladder and we might be seeing more of him on Team MVP. Maybe he's the next power monster Zerg, who knows? Okay, game done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you all later.